Today we'll show you how easy it is to create an incredibly beautiful wood grain fiberglass entry door that is truly long lasting and low maintenance. So let's get started. In a minute we'll give you tips and easy to follow instructions, but first there are a few things you should know and do before getting underway. One is a simple trick used by professionals that allows easier handling and reduces staining time. Simply attach a piece of 2x4 to the top and bottom edges of your door that will serve as handles for turning and act as a spacer, allowing you to stain both sides without waiting for dry times. Then thoroughly review the same day stain instructions and watch this video all the way through before getting started. Some important things to note are only stain when temperatures are between 50 and 90 degrees Fahrenheit and the humidity is below 85 percent. Also do not stain in direct sunlight and do not stain or apply top coat when dew is present. Also be sure to stain all exposed edges and ends of doors. Finish all wood surfaces exposed to weather within two weeks and always be sure you have plenty of fresh air and adequate ventilation. With those things in mind, check to make sure you have all the items indicated in the instruction brochure needed to successfully complete your staining project. Your same day stain kit contains everything you'll need to create the authentic finish of real wood. It includes warranty information which you should save and an important reminder to read and follow the enclosed instructions even if you've used the Thermatru stain kit in the past because today's kits use different techniques. There is also one 4 inch by 4 inch staining rag, two 8 inch by 8 inch cleaning rags, a pair of one size fits all gloves, one 16 fluid ounce can of stain, one 4 fluid ounce bottle of mineral spirits, one 20 fluid ounce can of top coat, a 3 inch natural brush, a foam brush, a 2 inch synthetic brush, two stir sticks, two test samples, and your same day stain instruction brochure. Once you're sure you have everything needed, it's time to get started. We will now take you step by step through the correct application of Thermatru's same day stain fiberglass door finishing kit. Before you begin, if there are any minor scratches, they can be removed or hidden by lightly buffing with a 3M Scotch-Brite pad in the direction of the grain. Then clean the entire surface of your door with mineral spirits using one of the kit's cleaning rags. For deeper scratches, fill with a wood crayon or fiberglass filler product from a hardware retailer and manually etch in matching grain detail. Next prepare the door for staining by masking off all glass hardware and weather stripping features. Next it is important to stir the can of stain thoroughly before applying because improperly mixed stain will not dry correctly. Now using the sample piece that matches the color of your unfinished door it is time to stain and color test the sample. Rub the stain in the direction of the grain. For lighter shades, wait 10 to 15 minutes, then rub off the excess stain. For darker shades, repeat the process. Should you want to start over, your color test can easily be removed with mineral spirits for a redo. When you are finished, set your stained color test piece aside, along with the second unstained sample, as you'll need them both again later in steps 8 and 9. Now it is time to apply the stain on your door. Only do one section at a time and in the following order. For the best results, use the application techniques we will show you in a moment. First, stain the door frame, wood door edges, brick mold, mullions, and astragals if it applies. Then stain the interior panels. Interior flat sections next, the glass frame if it applies, and the exterior flat sections last.
When applying stain in the deep grooves of the door panels, use the angled tip of the foam brush. This will allow you to achieve the desired shade of stain in the panel grooves and to reduce pooling in the corners. Also remember, when using the staining rag, always work the stain into the grain in a circular or cross-grain motion. Next, continue to use the staining rag to wipe stain in the direction of the grain while removing any swirl marks. Allow stain to dry for 10 to 15 minutes. Then, using one of the cleaning rags, wipe off excess stain in the direction of the grain to the shade you desire. To ensure an even application, use the 3 inch natural brush to blend all staining areas with special attention given to the deep grooves and corners of the panels. However, don't use the 3 inch natural brush to remove excess stain as the stain will dry too quickly and gum up the brush. If you do get excess stain on the brush while blending, wipe the brush on a cleaning rag dampened with mineral spirits to remove it. For darker applications, allow the first stain coat to dry from 2 to 4 hours, then apply an additional coat or coats for desired appearance. Now, along with the helper, use the 2x4 handles at the top and bottom to turn the door over, and then repeat steps 1 through 7 for staining and top coat. As soon as you have finished staining the second side of the door, put a coat of stain on the second sample piece, which will be used later as a test for dryness. After approximately six hours, test the second sample piece to determine if your stain is now completely dry and ready for the top coat. If it is, then both sides of your door will be ready too. To test for dryness, place a piece of masking tape on the second test sample. Rub the tape down well with a hard object and then remove it. When the tape can be removed without taking any of the stain off the sample, stain is dry and ready for a top coat. If it is not ready, test once an hour until it is dry. As with the stain, be sure to thoroughly stir the can of top coat before applying. Our can should always be stirred, not shaken, to prevent creating small bubbles in the top coat that can lead to an improper application and finish. Remember to always stir and not to shake your can of top coat. At this time, you should practice first by applying test top coats to both sample pieces. Also, don't saturate your brush with top coat. Lightly wet just the brush tips for a better and more even flow. When you are ready, using the 2 inch synthetic brush, apply a very thin first layer of top coat on the door, working in the same order that you applied the stain in step 5. Take care not to overload your brush, as it creates thick areas in the grooves and corners. And don't panic if the top coat appears milky when it goes on, as it will turn completely clear as it dries. Just be sure to even out any thick areas as you go. When you are finished with side one, and again with a helper, turn the door over using the 2x4 handles at the top and bottom. And you can repeat the top coating steps on side two without waiting for between coat dry times on side one. When finished, clean your brush thoroughly with cool water and wait two to three hours for the first coats to dry. Then practice putting a second top coat on the two sample pieces first. When ready, apply a second thin layer of top coat on both sides of the door using the two inch synthetic brush. Surfaces should now look wet but not milky. And when you are finished, again, clean your brush thoroughly with cool water. It is extremely important not to overbrush the top coat. Overbrushing will cause the top coat to start balling up. Should this happen, wait about 30 minutes until the top coat is dry. Gently wipe away any surface balling with a cleaning rag, then touch up with a thin layer of fresh top coat. Also remember to wait until both sides are completely dry before handling, or before closing on the weather strip if stained while in place in the opening. 
Now you've completed staining your new Thermatrue fiberglass door, and once installed, you will have years and years of natural wood beauty and elegance without all the troublesome headaches and maintenance of traditional wood doors. Thermatrue Same Day Stain and Top Coat also carries a limited five year satisfaction warranty. And if and when you decide it's time to refinish, typically after three to five years, because all exterior finishes are affected by exposure to sun, weathering, moisture, and air pollutants, then the gloss surface can easily be refinished with Thermatrue Top Coat to look just like new. Premium Classic Craft and Original Fiber Classic. Thermatrue Fiberglass Entry Doors, the most preferred brand in the business. A dramatic opening statement. <laughs>